Hey everybody, I was looking through the supply closet at my house and I noticed I had a bunch of extra markers and a bunch of extra pencils. Here's a stack of 36 pencils and here's a pile of markers. There are 24 markers. Now, I could right now put all of these markers and pencils into one giant bag. Or I could make smaller bags. Let's look at what that looks like. Here's one giant bag that has 24 markers and 36 pencils. But this wouldn't be very easy for me to use. Mrs. Toibel is actually going to be kind of generous. I'm going to give away some markers and some pencils. But I want to make um, what I give away be the same for every kid that gets it. So, for example, instead of having one big bag, I could split this into two identical bags. Here it is. Okay, I have two identical bags. The colors aren't identical, but what's inside is identical. Together, it's 24 markers and 36 pencils. This bag has 12 markers and 18 pencils. And this bag has 12 markers and 18 pencils. I wonder if I could make more than two bags where each bag has the same number of markers and pencils. Let's see if three bags works. Okay, so I think I still have 24 markers and 36 pencils, but now they're all together in three bags. This bag has eight markers and 12 pencils. This bag has eight markers and 12 pencils. And that bag has eight markers and 12 pencils. At this point, I have three identical bags. That means I could give these supplies to three kids. I wonder what the greatest amount of kids I could give supplies to if all of the bags have to be identical.